foot and collar rotter destructive plant diseases, affecting the lower stem and root systems, leading to wilting tissue decay and plant death. These diseases significantly impact agricultural productivity, particularly in waterlogged or poorly drained soils, and are caused primarily by fungal and oomycetes pathogens. Effective management requires understanding the pathogens, disease cycles, and a combination of preventive and treatment strategies. Key pathogens include oomycetes such as Phytophora species including P. Cinnamomian P, Nicotiani and Pythium species which thrive in wet conditions. Fungi like Fusarium species including F. solani. Rhizoctonia salani and Sclerotium rolfsi are known for surviving in soil and plant debris. The disease cycle begins with pathogen survival, where they persist in soil-infected debris, or as resilient structures like oospores and sclerosia. Infection occurs when pathogens enter through wounds, or natural openings especially in moist environments. Spread is facilitated via water splash, contaminated tools or soil movement. Favorable conditions such as high soil moisture, warm temperatures and poor drainage accelerate disease progression. Preventive measures include cultural practices, like improving drainage with raised beds to avoid water logging. Sanitation by removing infected plants and sterilizing tools. Using certified disease-free seeds. Crop rotation with non-host crops like grasses to break pathogen cycle and ensuring proper planting techniques too. Biological control involves applying biocontrolled agents, like Trichoderma species, the Streptomyces or Pseudomonas fluorescens, to suppress pathogens through competition or antibiotic production. Chemical control for omocetes includes using systemic fungicides, like metalixyl and methylthiophanate while fungi can be managed with aluminium phosphate, struggling or tie off an eight-knuckle, rotating chemicals to delay resistance. Integrate management combines cultural biological and chemical strategies for resilience, such as using resistance, cold or large alongside raised beds, and trek of German binoculars, monitoring soil moisture, applying targeted fungicides during high-risk periods. So active management of foot and collar rot inches aren't disrupting the disease cycle through cultural control such as sanitation in a greater treatments. Hence emphasizing preventive measures reduces disease and hands also. on chemicals, promoting sustainable culture and proper chemical and biological treatments. <laughs>